Today I'm making treats that we've had in our family every Christmas for the last 30 years. Come check it out! Good afternoon! It's Sunday, December 2nd, so uh, we are doing well so far. I've already kind of surpassed my expectations in terms of being able to vlog every day. I did not expect um, it to uh, go the way that it's gone so far. So today we were going to go to the Christmas tree farm to get our Christmas tree, uh, but unfortunately uh, we had snow overnight and then a ton of freeze rain today. So the roads are pretty treacherous and not all that safe. So we decided to stay home. Um, it's been a rainy, miserable day. So what I have decided to work on instead is at work in a couple days, we are having a, um, a cookie exchange between all my coworkers. So we have to provide uh, six to seven dozen cookies or squares or fudge or some kind of uh, Christmas treat so that we can all uh, take them to work and trade on Tuesday. So I started that today. Um, I'm making O. Henry squares, which I have been making every Christmas since I was about 12 years old and before then my mom made them. Um, I don't think I've ever had a Christmas. I have no memory of Christmas without these butterscotch squares. So they are a deep rooted tradition in my family. Um, if anyone remembers in, I don't know, gosh, the 80s and 90s, there were the Company's Coming cookbooks by uh, Jean Paré. Uh, that is where the recipe originates from. It was one of her I think it was uh, Squares recipe books or something like that. Anyways, the I don't even have the recipe book anymore. It's just uh, written down in an old notebook and every year it comes out and every year I make it. So this year I am sharing it with everyone at work. So um, I filmed um, or tried to film, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I tried to film a tutorial Mm, is that the right word? Um, earlier today when I had more light. I'm learning vlogging uh, since starting Vlogmas that our house is very dark. So trying to film um, later in the day is proving uh, to be a little difficult. I'm having to turn all the lights on and kind of learn uh, how to use my light as best I can. So earlier today I filmed um, making the squares and here it is. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take a 9x9 baking pan, line it with parchment paper, and then put down a layer of graham crackers. And then in a medium saucepan, you're going to mix together 3 quarters of a cup of butter, 2 thirds of a cup of packed brown sugar, half a cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And then using uh, medium heat, uh, mix everything together, the butter will start to melt. And you want to bring this mixture up to a boil. Once it is boiling, you wanna simmer for about five to 10 minutes. Um, I usually set a timer for about seven minutes once it starts boiling, and um, that's always worked for me in the past. So after your timer goes off, you want to remove the mixture from the heat and add one and a quarter cups of graham cracker crumbs and give that a good mix. Make sure it's all stirred together. Okay. Oh gosh, this is a great, a great camera angle on my part, but you're going to take your uh, sugar and crumb mixture and pour it over top of your layer of graham crackers and it's still pretty fluid at this point, so it will evenly distribute itself, um, but just take a couple minutes to uh, make sure all the corners are filled and uh, you've got filling everywhere evenly. There we go. Okay, and then you want to gently place another layer of graham crackers over top of that sugar mixture. Don't push them down too, too hard, otherwise you'll find um, that filling will start to ooze up. Um, and don't worry if there are gaps in between your graham crackers. Everything's going to set and be perfectly solid later on, so don't worry 
and allow this to cool to room temperature. So for icing, um, the consistency of your choice really, it's just icing sugar, butter, vanilla, and a little bit of water. And just give that a good mix so that it's smooth. Um, once your uh, graham cracker layers are about room temperature, you'll notice that they're starting to set, which is perfect for spreading icing so things won't gloop around on you. Um, so yeah, just dollop your icing right on there and uh, start spreading, spreading it out. So there you go, you've got your thin layer of icing, everything's all set, and this can go in the fridge for a couple hours or overnight to set completely. Okay, so now these squares have been in the fridge for a few hours. Um, you can take them out of the pan and start peeling back the parchment paper. There you go, you can see these set really nicely. Throw a cutting board underneath them, grab a knife, and then you can start cutting them into squares. These are fairly sweet, so I do tend to um, keep the squares fairly small. Um, I don't know, about an inch by inch square. There we go, so almost finished cutting the row. And the larger square at the end is absolutely the taste test square. So there you have it. There's the O. Henry squares that we've been making for over 30 years. Thanks so much for stopping by everyone and we'll see you tomorrow.